Why, hello there, magicians and microscopic beings alike. Shams Nelson here from Fantastic Anatomy with episode two of Draw D and D because I was working on the um, upcoming spoiler alert Fantastic Anatomy reboot training course for doing uh, making your own fantasy and sci-fi characters. So here are some examples of some guys I was cooking up, and we're gonna draw our own. Uh, one of these type of characters using a random generator like we did in episode one. So I found a new uh, site to do this. I just looked at Google did and found this kasoon.com and it looks pretty extensive. I haven't really read it and uh, I like this character male gnome sorcerer. It sounds cool but let's refresh it to make it um, especially a uh, randomized. Half Orc Barbarian, wow, level 19, that's kind of ridiculous. Alright, cool. Um, let's see what his description is. He's a husky man who is dressed in clean brown cloak, covering his clean studded leather. Wow, very clean Half Orc. Uh, his brown hair is well kept and his bushy mustache is tapered downwards at the end. He has a gleaming, smiling gray eyes. He has gleaming, smiling. So he's this nice handsome half-orc. I like this. I actually drew a somewhat handsome half-orc earlier, um, but not like this, so this will be fun. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I think we don't need to know his whole life story to uh, to go through this. So this, like I said, is going to be a preview of the whole Fantastic Anatomy method, but I'm going to come up with a, come out with a series of videos, um, breaking it down and giving like individual tips and tricks and going into individual races, what makes an elf different from an orc, different from a uh, gnome, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I'm really aiming to make it so that anyone can um, can enjoy this series, regardless of your background, your artistic background. If you are a, uh, a completely new to art, then you'll be able to, to have fun with it. But also if you are... A more seasoned artist then it hopefully will be a fun method to come up with new characters or a new um, a new tool to add to your toolkit so I'm starting off with an orc uh, with the skull that's the first thing we do so he's got these smiling eyes so one thing I like to do now as of course we're joining the studio with mr. muffin blueberry as usual and um, jingle blueberry too uh, but he's not He's he's not chirping today. It's it's mostly muffin. He's the talkative one. So here are his smiling, his smiling uh, gray eyes. So you can kind of like giving him this anime, that upturned anime feel. And obviously the skull doesn't uh, doesn't morph, doesn't change shape. It's uh, but for the Fantastic Anatomy method, I think it's a lot more fun. You get some interesting characters more interesting characters when you do that. So I'm going to stop here for the first step, all right? And then we're going to make a new layer. So this would be like the light under sketch if you're doing it. Oh, please, you got to draw along. If you haven't started drawing along, start now. All right? It's very important that you draw along cuz that's that's the fun part. All right, cool. So you got your skull, pretty basic stuff, uh but the first video that I make about this coming soon is going to be um, how to draw this skull and different types of skulls and blah 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 alright so let's see brown hair is well kept and bushy mustache tapers down towards any of the cleaning okay so he's got these smiling eyes that's important so let's start with that so I'm gonna put the the pupils in center them in here like that alright and then I'm gonna get the eyes smiling around them let's see if I can get that I usually don't draw smiling, smiling gray eyes. So we'll see how this turns out. See, so you got those little crow lines, and uh, no, the brow shouldn't be low. So here's a tricky thing. I want my orc to have a strong brow, but it's not low over his eyes. A lot of times when you do the strong brows like this. See? But how do we convey that when he's actually, like, you know, smiling and being nice instead of being a grump? So I'm going to start off with something like that. And I guess, I guess he sh oh, he's supposed to, does he, does he have bushy eyebrows? No, bushy, bushy mustache. Let's make his eyebrows a little bushy, too. 
Let's see what that looks like. That should be amusing. So maybe like. Okay. And since he's a half orc, he's got his upturned nose. Okay. Cool. Well, maybe he's not completely smiling. Because it said he had smiling eyes. So maybe he's like one of these like great sages who's you know, you can smile from your eyes and not move your mouth and people will know that you're smiling. But you can also smile from your mouth and the rest of your face, and if your eyes aren't smiling, people can sense that too. It's all in the eyes. There's like something with uh like forget if it's a Buddhist practice or or a Taoist one, I think. I don't recall, but it's you, you practice smiling with your eyes. You just try to always smile with your eyes, even if you're, you know, like being serious or whatever. Like, there's a subtlety to it, and I, I think it's more about your spirit than the physical way your eyes, uh, your eyes were working. All right, so we got, I like to do hairs with little tiny hairs. I have a little method for that, so I'm going to do a video on that later. But, um, wait, what does this hair on his head look like? It's very clean, right? Well kept. All right. So let's give him. So let's say this. Let's say his part is here, right? So with the hair, I'm just gonna kind of go like this, and just draw like individual strands of hair where they might come out. And then we're gonna go over that with uh, with our line, of course, with our pen tool or our pen pen tool. <laughs> No, I don't actually use the pen tool with our brush, but, you know, full opacity and everything like that. Or if you're drawing in real life with a pen. So maybe something like that. Have it curve back like that. I'm going to work more on hair so that I can kind of solidify this technique. But that should be fine for now. I'm liking this guy. He's kind of hilarious. Now I want to make sure he's half orky enough. What if I give him a butt chin? I can say that because I have a butt chin. If you don't have a butt chin, then you have to call him clefts. Or else you're racist. Sorry, I don't make the rules, guys. I just live in America. America. Trump got inaugurated president today to make this a timely video. I won't go into politics, but uh, that's what happened. <laughs> Any more than that, and I'd be going into politics. All right, cool. I like this weird, weird guy. He's like, it's like if a uh, half orc. Oh, he's a barbarian. I forgot. He's like the most handsome, charming barbarian ever. He's like if a barbarian retired and then went into show business at level 19, man. That's ridiculous. History is a history of pain. Maybe I should have bought... Oh, my gosh. I didn't read all this. Maybe that would have changed the look in his eyes. He tries to control his temper. So we're going to just go with the first personality and assume that there's little more to him than his gleaming, smiling gray eyes. Wow, that's, that's really something. Let's go ahead and uh, give him a neck. And he's got, let's see, where is he? He has got his clean, his clean studded leather and clean brown cloak. So you'll probably only really see his cloak. Something like that. Cool. So I think I'm going to cut the video off here because I think we've got a nice idea of this character. We'll make this a short episode. There aren't any real rules, real rules in art, fantastic anatomy, or uh, draw D&D, &D, whatever we're doing here. But what I am going to do is I'm going to provide a link to this character when I'm finished with him 
Um, I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what? Okay, it might not be up at the time of posting this video, but one of the things I want to do when I get my Fantastic Anatomy site up, which I'm going to launch when we get to a thousand subscribers, which is really close, um, then uh, I'm going to have an NPC library where all these random characters I draw for these videos and otherwise, I'll put them up on the NPC library and uh, with their stats and a little background and stuff. And uh, I think that'll be really fun and hopefully you guys can use them in your games if you guys are playing some D&D. &D. And if you do, then you definitely need to, uh, you need to share that story with me because that would be really awesome to... Uh, to hear how, how it went. Alright, that's it. Peace, God bless, and stay fantastic, everyone.